<laughs> All right, first fish of the morning, folks. You know, this ain't a good sign. <laughs> Big old eel. And I got to unhook him. Somehow, some way. Oh, oh, oh. What did I do with my... Oh, here it is. Okay. Let's see if we can de-hookerize them. <laughs> there you uh, go. Well, he broke the uh, broke your line. hook. You know, you know that ain't a good sign. <laughs> I've never done this before. A hook tied to mono, 40 pound mono, 30 pound mono, and a quarter ounce knocker rig. I'm sure other people have tried it, I just haven't. So, there you go, first cast. All right, let's see how big she be. That's for sure. 29 inches. Okay. Don't let him go. Whew. All right. That's what we came for, but we need it. We need a keeper. We need a keeper. All right. Here's what we're doing now. We're up in the river and we're whacking these yellow mouth. These would be weak fish, Gary. These are our weak fish. They're not very big, but they're good enough. And uh, they have no size limit, no bag limit, no nothing. So we're just gonna whack them and stack them if we can. And they're good eating. And they're decent eating if you eat them up. Here, unzip it right there. So this is my new idea. I'm using a cooler liner. <laughs> to keep from having to clean the cooler. All right, now see this? I'm still using my egg, and see that shrimp? I've already caught two trout, uh, two, two weak fish on it. Let's see if I can catch a third. It's just a gob of mutilated shrimp. All righty, folks. Here's a third fish on a gob o shrimp. A gob. They're hungry. They're hungry. Gobbo shrimp. Oh, now that's a nice one. That's about like yours. Yeah. Oh, no, it's bigger than mine. <laughs> God 
damn. Where have you been all my life, Mr. Weeky? Mr. Yellowmouth? Yes, sir. We'll take these all day long when them damn specks are too small. Because you know what? Many times it's all about we don't care about the fight. It's about the meat. See right there, there's four fish already in what? Like five cast five casts. Got another one. Ooh, let the dogs out. We're not even netting them. We should be. Because we're gonna lose a five pounder. Ah, that's a decent one. That's a decent one. Double header. Come on! This one here, I thought was a 27 inch redfish, the way from the head. Wow. Okay, let me net him if he's big. Look at that, folks. Look at that. Oh, he ain't that big. Alright. Chief Wakatoa. <laughs> he, he ran off the land. Chief Wakatoa. <laughs> He's running off the land into the water. Chief Wakatoa. All we're doing now is using fresh dead. You know, I love me some fresh dead. I've shown a million times how I hook a shrimp. From the top through the bottom, like that. Turn the hook, right? Turn the hook, run them, and bend them stick it right in the center so when you pop him he looks like he's snapping to go backwards like a crawl dad come on i i know why they're in here the birds are going crazy and there's giant shrimp this big i just saw swimming behind the boat giant shrimp so i threw right by that shrimp right was going across the surface right in front of the bird hit the bottom and came up with that one Dave. All right. That's end the of biggest day. and best yellow mouth that I've ever caught. That's the all most. trout, folks. And I mean, specks, yellow mouth. <laughs> Show them one of our specks. None of the specks were rolling big time. Yeah, there's a speck. Just a keeper. We got, I don't know what, four speckled trout? Two or four, yeah. Yeah, there's another one. Yeah. There's, I see three of them there. Three of them right there. Uh, a lot of yellow. A lot mouth. of yellow mouth. Look at these yellow mouth. Would yeah, you? look at those things, man. Weak fish. For Bigger the than the tra than yeah. the specks. Bigger than the specks. All the yeah. specks. How many specks did we throw back? Three or four? Uh, yeah, three, three or four. four. What too many? Look at that. Yep, that's a fatty. Look how fat that fish is. So look what that, we're gonna guys. do? What we're gonna do, folks, is I'm not going to clean them here because of these guys, just for the hell of it. I'm not cleaning them because of these guys. And see how guilty that son of a gun looks? Look how guilty he looks. Look at him, oh yeah, see he's getting his nose all bent out of shape. Because he hears me talking about him. <laughs> <laughs> they hear me talking about him, so their nose, their beak is getting bent out of shape. So we're, I'm gonna go put the boat on the trailer and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to clean them up there, and Dennis wants to clean them. Guys, you want to catch fish like this? Yeah. Call Captain Dave. He'll put you on. Yeah, well, that's their problem. If, yeah. If, if you want to catch fish, call Captain Dave. Well, see this beautiful day? This is what it's been like all day. You know why? Because most people don't even pay attention to the weather. Yeah. They don't even pay attention. Absolutely. They should, especially if you're local. You should be paying attention to the weather and you should come on, just call. Yeah. Yep. All right, guys. All right. Sayonara. What is it? Time to make the biscuits. Time to make the donuts. Yeah. Make the donuts.